Hi everyone, I'm Sir July and for this slide sets, we will be discussing asepsis. Asepsis is defined as the freedom from disease causing microorganisms and the technique to decrease the possibility of transmitting microorganisms from one place to another is referred to as the aseptic technique. We have already mentioned that medical asepsis is also referred to as a clean technique because it excludes all pathogens, while surgical asepsis is referred to as the sterile technique because it excludes all microorganisms. The practice of medical asepsis includes hand washing, disinfection, proper cleaning of supplies and equipment, and proper disposal of needles and contaminated materials and infectious waste. Let us discuss the salient points in hand washing. Let us first answer the question, when should we do hand washing? According to Kajir, we must do hand washing before eating, after using the bedpan or toilet, after the hands have come in contact with any body substance, such as sputum or drainage from a wound, and before or after giving care of any kind. What are the hand washing recommendations for routine client care? Vigorous hand washing under a stream of water for 15 to 20 seconds using granular soap, soap filled sheets, or liquid soap at the beginning of the nurse's shift when the hands are visibly soiled and after using the toilet is recommended. The time recommendation therefore is 15 to 20 seconds or as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says, you could do it by singing two sets of happy birthday. What are the situations where the CDC recommends antimicrobial hand hygiene agents? Antimicrobial hand hygiene agents are recommended when one, there are known multiple resistant bacteria. Two, before invasive procedures. Three, in special care units such as nurseries or ICUs. And four, before caring for severely immunocompromised clients. How about the use of alcohol-based hand rubs? They are used before and after each direct client contact. They are promoted by CDC because they kill bacteria more effectively and more quickly than hand washing with soap and water. They are less damaging to skin than soap and water, resulting in less dryness and irritation. They require less time than hand washing with soap and water. And lastly, bottles or dispensers can be placed at the point of care so they are more accessible. There are situations where use of alcohol based hand rubs will not be sufficient and soap and water hand washing. Is necessary. If there is visible dirt or matter, or if C. difficile may be present, alcohol based hand rubs will not be sufficient and soap and water hand washing is necessary. So, this is usually as in exam where a nurse is caring for a patient with C. difficile and it is asked what the nurse should be using for hand washing. So, the answer in those situations would be soap and water. Also included in medical asepsis is the proper disposal of needles, contaminated materials, and infectious waste. The garbage bag color is usually coded according to the DOH Healthcare Waste Management Manual. So what waste product will you place in a garbage bag coded as black and as green? Non-infectious dry waste are placed on black bags, while non-infectious wet waste are placed on green bags. What waste products are placed on bin color coded yellow and color coded yellow with black band? Infectious and pathological waste are placed in waste bins color coded yellow, while chemical waste, including heavy metals, are placed on waste bins color coded yellow with black bands. Several licensure examinations ago, the Board of Examiners asked. In which waste bin should a used tissue be disposed? And the answer there would be infectious and pathological waste are disposed on yellow bin. How about orange and red bins? Radioactive waste are disposed on orange bins, while sharps and pressurized containers are disposed on red bins. As previously mentioned, Surgical asepsis involves procedures and practices that render and keep objects and areas sterile. 
So the goal of surgical asepsis is the exclusion of all microorganisms and it is otherwise known as a sterile technique. A sterile technique or surgical asepsis is practiced in operating rooms, labor and delivery rooms, or special diagnostic areas. The principles and practices of surgical asepsis are best discussed under perioperative nursing and they are beyond the scope of this discussion. There is a beautiful table in Kozir which summarizes the principles and practices of surgical asepsis. So let us summarize the concept of asepsis. It could either be medical or surgical asepsis. Medical asepsis is a clean technique, while surgical asepsis is a sterile technique. And speaking of sterile technique, it means to say that there is exclusion of all microorganisms, while for medical asepsis, there is exclusion of pathogens. Medical asepsis includes hand washing, disinfection, proper cleaning of supplies and equipment, and proper disposal of needles, contaminated materials, and infectious waste. The sterile technique is done in operating rooms, labor and delivery rooms, and in special diagnostic areas. Pause this video, gather your thoughts, and when you are ready, let us have a practice test. Used gloves should be placed in which waste bin? A. Yellow B. Green C. Black D. Orange You have 5 seconds. Used gloves are infectious waste. Therefore, the answer here is A. Yellow which incorrectly describes surgical asepsis. A. Sterile technique B. Eliminates pathogens C. Employed during surgeries or D. None of the above You have 5 seconds. Since surgical asepsis is a sterile technique, it eliminates not only pathogens but all microorganisms. So the correct answer here is B. Eliminates pathogens. After caring for a patient with C. difficile infection, one must A. Use alcohol-based hand rubs or B. Wash hands with soap and water. You have 5 seconds. If you answered B, wash hands with soap and water, you are correct. And for the last question, which is or are true regarding medical asepsis? A. Eliminates pathogens. B. Includes hand washing. C. Clean technique. Or D. All of the above. You have 5 seconds. And the correct answer is D. All of the above. If you got all four questions correctly, then you did a great job. If not, rewind this video to check your answers. This ends the slide set for the lecture on asepsis. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Memory Aid Nursing. Thank you.